we're tracking some really high temperatures. Yeah, temperatures are going to be around 90 later in the week, but you factor in the humidity at times, it could feel closer to 100 degrees. So yeah, we're looking at a pretty impressive week ahead. In fact, we have heat advisories posted for inland parts of Rhode Island and uh, Massachusetts could be looking at those uh, heat indices. They feel like temperatures 95 to 100, especially Wednesday through Friday. It starts to go up a little bit starting tomorrow. Here's the temperature trend through the week. And looking at the temperatures, probably the coolest today <laughs> as we go through the next several days, getting into the low 90s. A potential heat wave on the way for Wednesday through Friday. Need three straight days of 90 degree heat here uh, in southern New England for an official heat wave. It's possible. We're seeing the sun popping up right now. It's kind of hiding behind the clouds, but you can see the skies brightening up. Here's Newport looking on off to the east. Temperature 59 degrees. Wind from the south at 6. Dew point still relatively comfortable at 57. Uh, temperatures are look at Hope Valley down another degree. 48 degrees. 55 in Taunton. 55 in New Bedford. Threat tracker for today. Low chance of anything overly impactful. It's going to be warmer, a little bit more humid tomorrow as as well, but I don't see any uh, uh, big issues for tomorrow. Then for Wednesday through Friday, this is the peak of the heat and humidity this week. Feel like temperatures could be between 95 and 100 degrees. There also could be some air quality alert days coming our way later in the week as well. We'll have to see about that. Pick of the week, yeah, that's today. Oppressive heat and humidity this week, and looking down the road, including Friday and through Sunday, could be a few showers around. Don't see any washouts, just look to be the typical typical summertime showers arriving. We're looking at dry skies right now. We'll get some showers, thunder well off toward north, the west. That stays away. That big blue H, yeah, that's going to be in control of our weather through the week. Basically just sitting offshore, pumping in the heat and the humidity right through the daytime on Tuesday. And then as we go into Wednesday, we begin to see some of the darker reds and magentas uh, working their way into the area. An indication, yeah, that we are looking at some heat and humidity uh, really kind of getting reinforced here in southern New England throughout the next several days. For today, as far as clouds and rain, we're dry to some patches of clouds coming on through. Here we are on Monday uh, evening. We're still dry. We're dry Tuesday morning. Notice a couple of showers, thunderstorms to our north. I think they'll be staying away from us tomorrow. Wednesday, same kind of deal. Lots of sunshine, but hot and humid. Couple of showers, isolated thunderstorm possible as we go through the uh, uh, Wednesday afternoon, but I think we're dry here in southern New England. This morning, temperatures in the 60s and 70s up to about 75 by noontime along the coastline cooler down here mid to upper 70s a little bit muggy increasing humidity today as we uh, go into the inland areas 81 in Providence 83 Woonsocket today in the uh, Bristol County Massachusetts area upper 70s to low 80s inland upper 70s down along Buzzards Bay thinking of going to the beach yeah today's a good day actually every day this week would be a good day for the beach mainly sunny air temperature around 73 on the sand today out in the bay winds from the south and southwest 5 to 15 knots could be gust to 20 in the afternoon here's that seven day forecast wednesday thursday friday temperatures in the low 90s hot and humid especially those days saturday sunday could be a couple showers around not as hot in the 80s full forecast you can find that at wpri.com check out